As Joe Biden announced his sudden decision to drop out of the 2024 presidential race on Sunday, speculations emerged in media about possible Democratic candidates who will replace Biden in the election. Vice President Kamal Harris whom Joe Biden formally endorsed in his letter published on X on Sunday, is the most likely Democratic nominee for president. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro is another likely Democratic candidate to run against former President Donald Trump. When first running for the governor's mansion in the Rust Belt state of Pennsylvania in 2022, Josh Shapiro received more than 3 million votes, setting a state record. Another likely candidate is Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir. The name of the 46-year-old two-term governor from Kentucky has long been floated as one of the several governors could become the next vice president. Former Kentucky U.S. Representative John Yarmuth said Thursday that Bashir was one of three, alongside North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, in consideration. Some pundits and media outlets have also predicted that U.S. Senator Mark Kelly might be the likely Democratic candidate to run in the elections. The senator from Arizona, husband to former U.S. Representative Gabriel Giffords, had supported the Biden-Harris ticket and not withdrawn his support from the president. Another Democratic VP contender is North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. Cooper, 67, is finishing out his second term as governor. North Carolina law prevents governors from serving more than two consecutive terms. Indians want to end employment with Russian armed forces. India and Russia are working to ensure early discharge of Indians recruited into the Russian armed forces, the Ministry of External Affairs of India said. In his visit to Moscow last week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had raised the issue with Russian President Vladimir Putin. We are aware of about 50 Indian nationals who currently wish to end their employment in the Russian armed forces, spokesman of Ministry of External Affairs Randhir Jaiswal said. These are cases where the individual or his stroke her family members have approached us for assistance in securing their early discharge, the spokesperson said during his weekly media briefing. Jaiswal said the matter has been pursued with Russia at various levels, including at the leadership level. The Prime Minister raised this matter during his recent visit to Russia. The Russian side has responded positively to our request. Both sides are working for early discharge of Indian nationals, he said. Earlier, relatives have appealed to the government of India in the past two weeks on behalf of some of the dozens of Indian men who have been tricked into fighting for the Russian army and want to return home. Last month, the Ministry of External Affairs said the issue of Indian nationals serving with the Russian army remains a matter of utmost concern and demanded action from Moscow over it. On June the 11th, India said two Indian nationals who were recruited by the Russian army had recently been killed in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict, which took the number of such deaths to four. Following the deaths of two Indians, the Ministry of External Affairs demanded a verified stop to further recruitment of Indian nationals by the Russian army. India is one of Russia's major economic partners and has exponentially increased its imports of Russian crude oil in recent months.